Welcome to another learning series with Mr. Knight. Today's topic will be on the ecosystem. Now, to define ecosystem, an ecosystem is a community or group of organisms which are referred to as biotic and um, interacting with each other and their non-living environment, which is referred to as abiotic. So the word biotic refers to living, and the word abiotic refers to non-living. And so in to make up an ecosystem, the living aspect interact with each other and also with the non-living part, which is the abiotic. Okay, so always remember that an ecosystem consists of two parts the living part and the non-living part and all the living part interact also with the non-living aspect of the environment now to, now to understand the full concept of ecosystem there are some terms that you must bear in mind and also try to remember when you're discussing um, discussing ecosystem or even answering questions relating to ecosystem so generally let's start out with what um, govern ecosystem which is the study of the ecosystem and that term is ecology so ecology refers to the study of the ecosystem itself regardless of what type of ecosystem right and then the biotic factors which refers to before or make mention to before are the living components of the ecosystem the living part of the ecosystem is the word is referred to as biotic factors so the word bio refers to living okay and then we have the abiotic factors which are the non-living components of the environment so anything that is non-living and in the environment those are the abiotic factors okay so we are talking about things like the rocks the water and so on the living aspect which is the biotic will be things like animals plant fungi bacteria all right and now with some other terms you need to know about as well include niche and niche is a role of an organism in a specific ecosystem and just to give an insight to that what a niche is for example a plant may be a producer so the role of a plant in that ecosystem is to supply food for all other organism because it is a producer Okay, you have other um, role for different organisms such as carnivores, omnivores. So any function of that organism within, within that ecosystem is referred to as the niche. So it's a role or function of an organism within that specific ecosystem. Now symbiosis, which we will deal with in another lesson, is the close living or feeding relationship between organism in a within an ecosystem or an area so that living or feeding relationship so for example you're talking about predator predator versus prey um, who eats what right and what they're eating and so on so that is referred to as a symbiotic relationship not always a eating relationship but is also a, a living relationship so, for example, um, dogs and fleas, all right? Um, the fleas don't eat the dog necessarily, but they are parasites to the dog. And so, you know, the, the living arrangement and also the feeding arrangement altogether refers to as a symbiosis, okay? So, it can be two things, living or the feeding relationship, all right, of the living organism within that ecosystem. Habitat is an next term you look at and habitat is a place where organisms live uh, and so on and um, for example we can talk about rocks um, certain organism may, f may can be found on the rocks um, we're talking about um, sticks for example like dry barks you may find certain type of um, worms living in, in dry barks um, in the ocean for example is an ex habitat Right, even in trees are habitat for some organisms. So wherever they live or can be found most of um, their life, that is their habitat. Now population, which is also important to look at, it is a total number of the same type of organism 
and when it's the same type of organism we're talking about species it must be the same species so the total number of the same type of organism living in a particular area so for example we say the population of dogs and we say the population of human beings all right the population of rat the population of cats and so on the population of a certain type of bird okay so refer to that specific species okay and now community which is another important term to remember is that as community is an interaction of different form of populations okay so we're talking about the the dog reacting with the cat or interacting with the cat human beings interacting with the dog and so once all these living organism or population come together we form a community so community is more than one population interacting all right and then let's look at some types of ecosystem and so typically i say generally ecosystem can be broken down into two main types okay so we have the terrestrial ecosystem and we have the aquatic ecosystem all right once you talk about terrestrial ecosystem you're talking about land any ecosystem that is on that is on the land while when we talk about aquatic we talk about anything is that is in water or in the ocean aquatic ecosystem is also referred to as marine ecosystem okay and so for some examples of terrestrial ecosystem include the pine forest and the coppies forest okay tundra is the next example of a terrestrial grassland and desert aquatic ecosystem include rivers ponds lakes marshes and the ocean in fact anything that contain water um, where organism live is a aquatic or marine ecosystem so let's look at some pictorial examples now of these ecosystem so for example a forest which is typically large trees so we have like the tropical rainforest the pine forest copies forest which we mentioned before and so generally see large trees within the within the um, forest or the forest area and we have tundra which is generally ice and um, you may find very to well very few to little um, or none at all um, trees right so you may find trees only at certain time of the year so generally don't find trees within the tundra mainly ice okay all right and of course it could be ranging from flat to, to hill like um, structure or terrain now the grassland is mainly a large area that is covered with grass typically so in a grassland you will not find a lot of large trees okay so it's mainly land all right and desert which is described as a as a dry area with mobile sand the sand is generally loose and able to move freely by wind all right and a pictorial um, demonstration of aquatic environment and some of these are the examples here we have rivers and we have lake um, rivers are normally narrow narrow compared to, to to lake even of course you can have some wider rivers or pretty much wide rivers but lakes are generally wider comparing to um, a river so a river or stream you may even refer to river as stream okay both of the words could work um, or use interchangeably all right but lakes are generally a large body of, of water and it's normally about two um, maybe the ocean or or stream depending on where you find them generally okay pond um, pond are generally inland aquatic ecosystem it's normally surrounded by land okay and of course we have the ocean and the ocean is vast as we mentioned in the ocean we can find things like um, the coral ecosystem okay so the ocean will have um, different type of ecosystem in themselves and even at the shoreline for the ocean we have example the rocky shore and the sandy shore ecosystem so there are many ecosystems that may associate with the ocean as well now let's put it all together now folks to wrap this up um, in an ecosystem you have what you call a niche which is the role of the organism that's the first point all right is the role of the organism and then the place where these organisms live which is called the habitat 
and then in that habitat you will have a population a specific grouping or a specific species of organism that's a total number of that organism living in that area and then when pop once population comes together different form of population come together what we have as a result is what you call a community and then from the community you will have the ecosystem and the ecosystem is where you have the non-living world and the living world coming together and interacting okay and so this is just a little short lesson and on ecosystem and so we're at the end of it and again i will always encourage you to keep watching keep um, checking in and of course feel free to subscribe for future videos or lessons